Welcome to Nitakis. My name is Mrs. Rano. This video is a theory video and it's based on the section Human Impact on the Environment. And in this video, I'll be dealing with selective breeding. What happened in South Africa recently? All our cattle, different species affected by mad cow disease. No meat, chicken, avian flu. No meat, no chicken. We have to import our food. But again, I, like I said, it doesn't affect your pockets. Your parents know it's meat and chicken are extremely expensive. Most of our food has been imported. Most of the solutions to all of these problems I'm giving you is unfortunately sitting in the field called genetics. <laughs> That's why I was telling you about growing meat. Yes, the scientists have already, they already knew 2015 was going to be the year we weren't going to have water. They, the scientists sit and they sit and they have these scenarios and predictions. They've already told us, we're running out of food. There's not going to be any water, there won't be crops, there won't be meat. So, we have to find these solutions. That's why already they're growing the meat. They're anticipating, most scientists are not reactive, they are proactive. And that's what I'm trying to teach you to do, to be proactive. Right. Hmm. They create. Okay, so we've already done that. We've had many different breeds of cattle, the Hereford, the Shorthorn, the Africana cattle, and we've already genetically uh, selectively bred cattle, and we have a cattle called the Bonsmara cattle, and it's named after the, after the person who's actually done that. And that cattle is, has a lot of meat, that's all we care about. Very healthy, very fertile. But we don't allow this favorable characteristics to mix with characteristics we don't want. So we only allow that the males to mate with the females of the similar characteristics. Then all that work, because remember, selective breeding is a very long process. Right? It's a long process. And again, you've got to do it next year, selective breeding. It's already been done here in South Africa. You will see most of these farms, the Bonsma farms. That's where they're actually doing selective breeding. You do know most of your food is inbred, hey? Your meat is inbred. Your chicken are inbred. Right. Means, so inbred is means from out. <laughs> All right, let me give you, hold on to your chair. Right? I'm going to draw a picture for you. Right. I'm jumping straight to matric work, but look, you need to know the need for biodiversity, right? Now, so we have, we all love chicken, am I right? Yes, we love chicken, so I want a chicken. Now, I don't want a, I don't want a KFC piece that only has bones. I want a lot of meat, right? So I want to create chicken like that. So I take the male. Oh my goodness, I cannot draw chicken, so I'm not even going to do that, right? So I take a male that's very, very healthy, fertile, and has a lot of meat. I take a similar female, also very healthy, fertile, young, lots of meat, and allow the two to breed. Good, no problems, no problems. But then they have children. CCC stands for children. Then what I do is, you guys okay there? Kaylee, you okay? Tiffany, you okay? What did you guys? Yes, children, because you were busy distracted. Right. Children, but now I choose only the best of the children. I choose the male that is strong, fertile, has a lot of meat. Let's say it's this one. And I choose the female that's also young, has a lot of meat and fertile. And inbreed them. And I carry on doing this over a long period of time until all my chicken uh, have a lot of meat, young and fertile. So that's what I mean when I say that your food is inbred. Doesn't matter, still tastes good. When you go for KFC, it's still tasting good. Right? When you're having your piece of steak, still good. Whether it's inbred or not. The point is, we want food. We want meat and food with good characteristics. That's selective breeding. That's something you will talk about. You'll learn about next year. Thank you for joining this video, joining me and watching this video on selective breeding. Join me and watch all my other videos as well.